Welcome to episode 128. Is that print wearing you? Oversized prints may be hot, but what if they overpower you? In this episode, you'll discover why prints may be wearing you and what to do about it, as well as some of the hottest prints of the season. But first, have you ever wondered why some women seem to have style while others seem to struggle? Well, in my experience as a master style coach, I've discovered that there are five elements to style. And when you know them, you can master your style with ease. I've created a free download just for you all around the five elements of style that, in my opinion, all women must know before getting dressed. In this download, you'll discover exactly what you need to know, what you need to focus on, and how it all works together. We believe that when you look great, you feel great. And when you feel great, anything is possible. So go grab this free download and get ready to dress like you mean it. You can find it at shopstylefinder.com. The link is in the show notes. Welcome to Style by Mary Michelle, a podcast designed to empower you through personal style. I'm your host, Mary Michelle Nidefer, a master style coach, founder of Style Finder Boutique, and creator of the Style Finder ID system. I'm here to help you know what to wear, how to wear it, and how to get dressed in seven minutes or less. Let's go. Hello, friends. Welcome back. Now, I just want to tell you, you are beautiful and you may not think it, you may not feel it, but you are. And when you can start to notice one beautiful thing about yourself every day, that's where the magic happens. That's where everything shifted for me. And I I know this episode is not about being beautiful, but I just want you to know that whatever you feel you look like, stop being so hard on yourself and start appreciating who you are, where you are, Today, we're talking about prints, and I know wearing prints is one thing that I love. Wearing the right print can make you feel beautiful. And everything that I teach about color, about print, about scale, about pattern can help you to feel more confident. I've been posting so many videos over on Instagram lately, and it's been really cool. I've actually been doing a few series. No, not necessarily about prints, although these this should be coming soon. But I've been posting uh, quite a few series lately about dressing different body types and um, camouflaging or visually altering things. And what I've found is that with so much, so many of these tricks start with the use of color. And you've probably heard me say I'm writing a book on color and I have really been having so much fun. And for the past 14 years, I've actually done color analysis. I've been a style coach for 14 years and the learning, you're never done, right? You're never, ever done. And I feel that the deeper I get into it, the more I see. And the more I see, the more I want to share because things that have been repeated over and over and over that can make a difference that become second nature to me. Sometimes I assume that everyone knows this and then I share it with somebody and they share, they show me that, oh my gosh, this is new information. So follow me on Instagram if you don't yet, because I'm sharing all my best tips over there. And you can really see I'm sharing real life clients. I'm having so many clients. If you want to come into the boutique and be featured on Instagram and work with me or work with Camelia, uh, let us know, reach out. Cause we would love that. We love sharing real life clients, real life situations, because especially if there's something that clients, clients are asking us for all sorts of things, but we can't always share on ourselves because we don't have that particular characteristic. And so when we have you guys to work with, that's where it makes all the difference. So let's talk about prints. I found that prints are very misunderstood. I, from my own experience, because I'm a little bigger, taller, I feel that I have been able to wear a lot 
larger prints. I've kind of gravitated towards larger prints, which it turns out those are the right ones for me. And I'm going to talk about why in a minute, but it turns out those are right for me. But so many women have told me, oh, I can't wear that. That doesn't feel good. And years ago, I had no idea why. I just thought, well, you know, I'm just more bold or more dramatic or thought it was more a matter of my personal style. But what I've found is that it's actually a matter of personal scale your personal scale. Now, if you've ever worked with me or if you've heard me talk about jewelry, I talk about scale when it comes to jewelry, but it also affects the prints that you wear. And so I'm going to share with you today actually five prints that are hot this season and some tips for wearing them so that you can get the best print for you. I know it can feel really weird. You know, when you come out of the fitting room and you're wearing a print and maybe it's too small for you, it's like, hmm, something just isn't right. It just feels out of balance. And I know for years I tried to wear smaller prints because everybody else was wearing smaller prints. I thought, well, I should just be able to wear that, right? Wrong. There is never a one size fits all approach when it comes to your style. Your style is about understanding yourself don't copycat. Don't copycat colors. Don't copycat silhouettes. Don't copycat sizes of prints or jewelry. Because if you're looking at your friend and you're trying to do the same thing she does, chances are your face shape is different. Your scale is different. Your hair is different. Your body type is different. Something's different. And so what looks great on her isn't going to look as good on you because it's not right for you. It does not mean there's anything wrong with you. That's a belief I internalized years ago. And I used to make it mean that I was too big or I was too fat. But then I come to find out that, well, it's just not the right print for me. I can't tell you how empowering that was because wearing things that were too small for me really worked on my self-esteem and added to my self-esteem because my filter was that I wasn't good enough. I wasn't smart enough. I wasn't beautiful enough. I was, I was too big. I was wrong. Everything about me was wrong. I should look like something else. I don't know where this came from, but (laughs) years later, I've done the work and I have excavated those beliefs. And I know that we are all beautiful just the way we are. So if you ever put on a print and you feel like a print is wearing you, it is, it is too large for you. And so what I want you to think about is finding a print that is in line with your personal scale. All right. So if you ever felt like a print was too big, trust your intuition. But also if you ever felt that a print was too small for you, it does not mean you need to lose weight. It does not mean you need to change anything about yourself. It does mean that print is not right for you. Find a different print or it could be the same style print. So let's go through five popular prints for this fall and let's talk about that. So the first print, what's hot, what I have seen listed as one of the best trends, oversized florals. Now, ladies, this is where you always hear me say, don't ever let the trends dictate what you wear. Does this mean everybody should rush out and wear oversized florals? Absolutely not. No, I'm one who can rock an oversized floral because I'm, you know, five, nine and some change. Oversized florals actually work with my scale. But if you're five, two, you're petite, an oversized floral is going to wear you. So how do you wear an oversized floral? You don't. You choose a regular floral that is in line with your personal scale and know you are going to be on trend just as well. Don't ever let a size, a print, a color, a shape, a scale that is hot or trendy dictate what you wear or undermine what you know is right for you. Trust yourself. At the end of the day, you have the answers. You know what's right for you. And even if you don't know exactly, put something on and ask yourself my one polarizing question. How do I feel? Do I feel great or do I feel awful? Usually it's, it's going to be one extreme or the other. Yes, I love it. No, I don't. 
ask yourself that one question and that will help guide you to the right colors, the right shapes, the right prints. Because if you don't feel good in it, no, it's a no, it's a hard no. Don't ever settle because you are worth it. Now, print number two, chalk stripes. Let's talk about stripes for a minute. Now, what I mean by chalk stripes are kind of pinstripes, very, very, very thin stripes. Now, there are different types of chalk stripes. We have seen some chalk stripes like in menswear prints, very thin lines. Those can work on most people. However, if you ever put that on and you love it, but you feel like you look too big, or maybe it's making you look too big, or something looks off, trust that. Chalk stripes can come in varying widths. And so if you are on the larger scale, maybe you go for a larger or a thicker chalk stripe, something to create balance. Overall, you want prints that create balance with your height, your weight, your stature, your facial features. That is going to make all the difference. Now, print three, go animal. We're seeing animal prints, literally, like the the entire zoo. We're seeing the entire menagerie. Everything from leopard print to snake prints to tiger to you name it. Animal prints are hot. But I want you to think about, first of all, How large of a print is it? A zebra print can be really large in scale or it can be really delicate in scale. And so if you put on, let's imagine like a really large print zebra sweater. And we had one in the boutique last year. I think it was a chocolate brown and an ivory. It was a beautiful sweater, very popular. It was kind of medium in scale, actually. It was medium in scale. And so what that means is it worked on most women. I have found that most women, the majority of women are medium in scale. And so what that means is that medium prints can work for most women. Even though a large print works better for me, I can kind of get away with a medium print, but I cannot get away with a delicate print. If you're a little bit more on the petite side, a delicate print is better for you. However, you sometimes you can get away with a medium print. It's not quite too big. And so it gives you a little ease. And so if you're ever in doubt, choose something in the medium range. It's not small. It's not large. It's not extra large or oversized. It's medium. That's a safe place to be when it comes to prints. So let's think about tiger stripes or leopard print. Leopard print, again, you can see little teeny tiny, I guess the smaller, that's more like a cheetah, right? But you can get leopard print, cheetah print, tiger print at every scale. And so let's imagine you are, you want to wear an animal print top and you are a size 16 and you find a beautiful animal print top, and it's got a really teeny tiny cheetah print on it, that is probably not going to be your best print because it's not in line with your personal scale. What would be better is to go for more of a larger leopard print, even an oversized leopard print, because it's more in line with your personal scale. However, if you're, say, a size two or a size four, and you want to wear a teeny tiny leopard print, and you've got delicate facial features, that is more in line with your scale. That is going to create harmony. And that's where it's going to flow. Now, print number four, we're seeing oversized checkerboards and geometrics. Now, I don't know what it is, but I know... It seems like every so often what's on trend is something that's oversized, whether it's slankets or prints or jewelry or something. Rarely do we see anything that's like really, really delicate, but it seems like oversized is a word that we see a lot, oversized handbags. But just remember, oversized does not mean you ditch what's right for you in favor of what's hot right now. If oversized checkerboards 
are your thing, great, rock it and love it. But if you love checkerboards, I don't want you to feel that you have to change to an oversized checkerboard. Stick with something medium in scale. Because when one, I, when one thing is going to be hot, just know you're going to see a lot of variances. Just like with color. Pink is a hot color of the season. But even though Pantone has said, here's a pale pink and here's a hot pink, we're seeing a lot of shades of pink. Does that mean one shade is in and one shade is out? No, it means that pink is hot this season. Pink is a trend, just like checkerboards or just like geometrics. We're seeing a lot of geometrics. You're going to be right on trend if you pull out your checkerboard print shirt or your gingham or your abstract geometric print top. We're seeing a lot of those. Pick the print, pick the size, pick the scale that works for you. And then my print number five, we're seeing a lot of kaleidoscopic prints and psychedelia. Now, you might say, well, I don't know if I'd wear that. But I will tell you that I have seen quite a few great tops. I don't know that we're going to carry any at Shop Style Finder, but I have seen quite a few online tops. I have seen some great scarves. I have seen some interesting jewelry. And so don't discount it. But just know if you put it on and you think, whoa, this wears me, trust that. Maybe it wears you because of the scale and the color. Maybe it doesn't wear you. Maybe it flows with your scale and the colors tie in with your eyes and your hair and light you up. Maybe it makes you look fabulous. This is where I think being curious can really open up some new possibilities. It can help you to see things in a new and different way. And it can help you to try something that maybe you wouldn't normally try. Maybe you find a new trend that you absolutely love, but don't let the name deter you. So I'm going to go through those five prints again real quick. Number one, oversized florals, but find the floral that's the right size for you. Two, chalk stripes. Find your best stripe. Number three, animal prints. Whether it's leopard, tiger, snake, zebra, cheetah, find the one that best complements your scale. Number four, checkerboards and geometrics. Just because oversized is what's hot does not mean it's right for everyone. And number five, kaleidoscopic prints and psychedelia. Ladies, I hope you have loved this and I hope Hope it's helped you to clarify why certain prints work for you and why some don't. I hope you will feel more confident when it comes to choosing your prints. Come on over and join me in the Style by Mary Michelle podcast group on Facebook and let me know what prints are you going for this season. Now, I tell you, I'm always a quintessential animal print lover. And so that and florals are usually my jam, but I am going to be tempted to bring some others in. I think I'm going to have to try some of the psychedelia. I think that appeals to my romantic side. All right, ladies, I hope this has been helpful for you and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to Style by Mary Michelle, where women come to get dressed in seven minutes or less. If you enjoyed this podcast, I invite you to leave me a five-star review on iTunes or wherever you're listening. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Style by Mary Michelle and shop our boutique at shopstylefinder.com for the best in upscale casual apparel. Better yet, if you're in the Raleigh area, come see us. We're located in the North Hills Shopping Center, the premier shopping district in Midtown Raleigh. For details and links mentioned in this episode, be sure to see the show notes. Have a beautiful week.